a video from I did a thing or something like that. What do you guys think? Um, metal sword. Chat don't make submarine yeah. jokes. Those rich people are under a lot of pressure. Can we watch the hermit crab one? Can we watch the hermit crab one, chat? This one looks pretty good. My real channel is my IRL channel. I put a gun on a robot dog. <laughs> okay, let's watch the hermit crab one. I'm really curious about it. Pause is cringe. Let's get it. Okay. So Snackers, if you guys don't know who I did a thing is, he's basically me if I was a guy and I did IRL content and I was friends with Michael Reeves. Um, he makes weird inventions and it gets very dangerous. Uh, he puts guns on dogs, which I honestly respect. I would give an AK-47 to a monkey any day of the week just to see the chaos that unfolds. Also, I have a goal in life of one day being friends with an alligator. And if they're intelligent enough to shoot someone with a gun, they're definitely intelligent enough to be my friend. So, those are just my perspectives on things that I have ulterior motives that I can't even begin to get into. Otherwise, I might have to kill you guys. So, in the meantime... I want to go ahead and potentially stick the blades of a weapon on a fan, turn on the fan, and then make you stand underneath it. The thing is that there's a fire pit underneath you, so if you stand up entirely, you get a haircut for free. But if you can't squat for eight hours, you will catch on fire. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, d just my opinion. Um, so yeah, I, I just want to let you guys know that um, we're going to be watching a video from this guy right now. <laughs> Three, two, one, hermit crab. How you going? Hey! Animals have Chad, who's smaller than me or this guy? He literally, I'm literally bigger than him. You can see how epic midgetized this kid is. I can punt him. And I just might. You? Okay. Well, you're so quirked up. Develop some okay. pretty cool and creative ways of protecting themselves. Like echidnas. Uh-huh. He looks like a dink. Magpies. <laughs> the late Steve Irwin. And Hermit. No! Why would you do that, Mr. Did a Thing? What the frick? <laughs> Come on, man. He did the boy like that. Stevie Jobs. Oh, yo, crab. <laughs> What's he doing? No! <laughs> That crab's gonna wake up with a hell of a headache tomorrow. <laughs> He's like, hey man, I got hammered last night. But some of their methods aren't <laughs> quite strong enough. So today, I'm gonna make oh, no crabs are harmed in the making. giving them some armor and weapons. It's okay, it was so a fake crab. It was a fake crab. Them. Oh, crab. Crab wasn't real, boys. All right, the first thing I need is some CGI crabs, crab, true. and I could just buy them from the store, but uh -huh. they are expensive, and it also seems a little unethical. So instead, I decided to get them from the wild, taking them away from their home, family, <laughs> and friends. No! Okay. He just killed a small colony of fish in one fell swoop. Someone stop this man. Yo, is that Ariel the mermaid, or is that just an internet nerd? Yo, this is sick! Do you think if you were a hunter way back when, you could just go and swim through the water and just grab a fish and just keep it? Cause like, those fish do not seem to care at all, right? Like, you have to imagine at some point, fish are just getting grabbed in the water, they're just like, Oh, the fish! <laughs> and they just get thrown on a boat, you know? Like, literally, you could just epic turn this guy into a mackerel, blues clues, fish fillet looking thing. You know? God, I would no, eat I the seagrass. Crab that is around three centimeters in diameter. So I brought my tape measure and began to measure. Uh huh. What is that? What is that? It's not a crab. <laughs> He's harassing fish like the paparazzi. What is going on? But after losing a tug of war with an octopus. What? Oh, he got it. <laughs> He's strong. Chat, would you? Yes. Mm. Yes. 
Okay. I gave up on the measuring and started searching for any shells I could find. But unfortunately, all the shells were either empty or occupied with snails. What I what? Oh, would you give it a hug? Which I crushed up for the fish. No! Who started to get really friendly with me. Almost too friendly. Bro's so murdering to creatures for fish. They get up to any funny business. He's making Darwinism happen in real time. Blue a so blue groper? I looking in the rock pools, never, creeks, never, and just blue anywhere groper. with water. Until eventually, I found this guy. Oh! I saw this rock moving before. A moving rock. That's sounds like the anatomical definition of a hermit, hermit crab. You know? Like, that's probably like what people thought back in the 1800s. It's just a moving rock. Are you a vegan? Nah. Maybe. Not. Crab. Oh, he's so cute! And began looking for more. <laughs> <laughs> Help, step bro, I'm stuck in the water. And after searching some more in this area, <laughs> you put up with the epic dishwasher cycle. Crabs. Let's call them Sandy, Randy, and Handy. Oh, I made them this Handy? Home, which is filled with sand and random Lego pieces. But more importantly, hands? a heat map that emulates no the hands. warmth that a hermit crab is used to getting from heat mats that exist naturally in the wild. Okay, now I just need to make the metal shells. It kind of looks like these crabs are having a good time. The first thing that comes to mind is casting their shells out of aluminium. And I can do this by 3D what, printing some shells aluminium? with some cool what? designs like this. Aluminum? And then taking a cast of the 3D print and then pouring metal in to fill the mold. And okay. I want the crab's armor to still look like mm. shells, but also have a Mad Max mm. style to it. With stuff like armor plates, some spikes, mm -hmm. buzz saws. So I <laughs> printed all my shell designs and baked them in the sun to harden <laughs> Cast one in plaster with some arms for the molten metal to run down and left okay. that for a couple of days to dry. Now yep. I'm hoping that when the molten metal enters the holes, yep. it will instantly melt the resin and styrofoam, creating a void which the metal will fill. Mm. So, next thing, I invited the neighbor's kids over for a 24 pack. He's just like me for real, for real. Yeah, baby, pop and bottle, let's with go. And then collected all the cans, which I melted down in my furnace. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, why is this furnace covered in flammable cloth? <laughs> and while the cans uh -huh. are melting, it's the perfect time to tell you about today's sponsor, No, Kiwico. No! Perfect thing for you to No! Get. Thanks to KiwiCo for sponsoring the video. I don't care to do it, children! <laughs> okay, now time to check on the cans. <laughs> And when they seemed liquidy enough, I poured them liquidy. into the mold. What is he doing? I'm a man like bench pressing. Hello? <laughs> what is what is home dog trying to do? Oh. <laughs> Surely there has to be a better, better way. Surely there has to be a better way. What do you mean cut and it, it didn't open? Work at all. The aluminium didn't run into the hole. This guy is worse at science than I am at cooking. And I could try again, but the bad thing about doing this with plaster is the mold is not reusable and takes a very long time to remake. So instead, I decided to make a mold. I like his very nice, calm, collected, serious voice contrasted by the absurdity of his actions. <laughs> silicon, which I've used before to make high temperature flesh. It's kind of like a National Geographic video where they're observing a lunatic in the wild That's... and they're just commentating over his existence. Okay, yo. Wait, that's me in there! And then we'll use pewter as the metal, ah! which I can just melt on the stove, which is great. Pewter, that's a city in Pokemon. Much. And to make the silicon mold, I took the resin shell and placed it at the bottom of this PVC pipe, mm -hmm. and then poured silicon over the top Wait, until it PVC? almost came over the shell. Then no I let way. that dry. Is it gonna do one kick too? Another layer on the top so it runs inside the shell. Okay. And then let that dry. And now hopefully I can neatly pull apart the layers, creating a two-part mold. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! You Which suck! Didn't work. So I made another one, but this time I used graphite powder so they would separate. Okay. Now comes the pewter, which is this metal here, which makes you feel incredibly strong. Which oh! I just cut into chunks. That's kind of sick. 
Okay, and okay. And then melted it down in this little sauce put. And if you're following along from home... Wait, ve- you're going to turn the hermit crab shell into pewter, which is literally something you can bend with your hand. Very important that you also use a pot with a what? plastic handle like this one, which will catch on fire, releasing poisonous fumes. Okay. Uh, and yep. once the metal was no longer its solid mm-hmm. self, I poured it into this hole. I like how he just removed the effing rubber from the handle. <laughs> okay. Creating this. No way! And it turns out casting a hollow spiral tube is very hard. He but did it? I kept trying. You suck! Come on, man! Ugh. This is, and after he's trying his best. destroying at least 10 molds, I finally managed to get this. That one actually looks pretty good. No one does. What? <laughs> that looks like I have AIDS if I got in that. Yo! Never this mind. is almost good enough, but I I've realized wrong. the problem. This shell is wrong. very heavy at 90 grams. Yeah. And if we compare that to the weight of a hermit crab. 12 grams? You would literally need the Chuck Norris of a hermit crab just to skedaddle. Giga Chad, dude. No way. Which is zero. The shell weighs mm, infinitely mm. more, which is a big difference. So I need to come up with some difference. other way of doing You're this. Right. And I think electroplating is my best bet. What is electroplating? Is make a bath filled with the metal I want to What are you doing? So I just got... It looks like the oil in this guy's missing is putting a toaster in it. Two nickel plates and put them in a vinegar solution. What in the cyberpunk crack house is this? And then got this wire and attached it to both plates. Uh-huh. And then, very quickly, the bath turned from clear to green. Meaning it's now filled with nickel. And oh, I know this okay. Cell looks bad, like I'm making meth or something. Yeah, just a little bit. Which I am doing. Okay. Don't get oh, me wrong. Oh, okay. But just not here on this. <laughs> yeah, valid, valid, valid. Okay. Now that I have my green bath, I tested to see if I even know how to electrocute you share? using this copper wire, which I connected to the negative power and then put the positive on this nickel chunk. And now hopefully the nickel metal moves from the negative through the bath onto the copper, coating it in nickel. And after- Do I understand what's going on? Yes. Nickel is contained in um nickels, which are coins. So he might cook them down and make them into pennies. Only dunking it in the solution for like 30 seconds, the copper wire was covered in a layer of nickel, which means this should work. So I covered the shells in a conductive paint and put them in and waited and waited and waited. And the shells were much slower than the copper wire, but it does look like it's working as I can see some nickel. So I left them overnight. And this doesn't actually look that bad at all. That looks pretty good. It's shiny and is also very light. Yeah. While also having the added strength from the metal. And best of all, hey. it makes this noise. Which is good enough for Dang. me. So I coated a bunch of different okay. shell designs, sizes, and then also did some in copper. He's got buzz saws on his blade. Which looks awesome. And has this sick. crystalline metal growth on the end of the spikes, which makes the copper almost look organic. How did he do that, man? And then put all the shells in the tank for the hermit crab. I, I mean, I know he just explained it, but and still. this is the annoying bit of the This video. guy like the effing final full metal alchemist bosh. For me, as I have no idea how long the crabs are going to take to uh-huh. pick a shell. And after watching them for a week, nothing happened. Oh. Although I did learn a lot about the crabs, like that Sandy loves to eat fish, Randy loves digging in the corner, mm-hmm. and Handy, well, uh, he loves... Yeah. He's just like me, for real, for real. I've never related to a ba- pot- potentially inanimate rock in my life. But more importantly, I learned that all of them are liars. And despite what a hermit no. crab tells you, they are not actually crabs at all. And have what? been lying to me for two weeks what? before I discovered they were actually something called a decapod crustacean. And I what? have no idea what that means. You're fake! Huh. You're a phony! A resurrected jabroni! No way! Who is this man? It's like finding out you're adopted. But in the end, it doesn't really matter because it looks like something has finally happened. <sighs> what? And I came back to the <gasps> tank one night to find this empty shell. Oh! Okay. And He's Randy trying to give in the his crabs beautiful and new back. home. No way! <gasps> Woohoo! He's got armor. He created the Optimus Prime Crab! No way! Oh, 
awesome. He actually, this guy's invincible. <laughs> personally, I would have picked the larger <laughs> shell for myself as he barely fits. He bro made a cyborg. In the thing. But it <laughs> seems fine as he can still do all the things he, made, he loves doing. Like running, he made a digging, cyborg. and climbing. It's also really awesome what seeing Randy frick? dig under the ground as when he's under, it's just the spikes on top of the shell poking out in a similar way to an echidna, which would really hurt if you That would on. hurt, true. And I really didn't think this would work at all. So I am very happy with this. Is result. he gonna release them back into the wild? Longer to see if the other crabs also adopt their new shells. This is like when you're playing League of Legends and you buy a thorn man and you're like, yeah, man, hit me. I want you to hit me. Months now, and I feel like I'm really pushing yeah, my Yeah, he's like a level 99 mafia boss now. So I just decided to call it here. Well, that's what's looking different. It's a Kingler. Andy and Handy in their boring shells. Ew. Handy. And then Randy in his beautiful armor. Okay, buddy. All right. <laughs> so hopefully he now... At some point in the future, like, like random, like, uh, what do you call them? Crustaceanologists are going to discover the shell after it's been handed down for millions and millions of years through Randy's clan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, this is like an Avengers Endgame crab. Lives a long, happy life, destroying the ecosystem. The crab's getting laid, it's true! And the crabs aren't the only thing I'm releasing. I've got three leftover metal shells, which I've placed on beaches all over Sydney for you to find. Why would you do that? Shogun Tiantar. Why? Oh. oh. <laughs> Here's the clue. If you step on it and your foot starts bleeding, you found it. Okay. That's me in the corner. That's me in the spot. Um, I've written a, um, poem. Um. Um. At this beautiful point, you'll feel like a man. Mm -hmm. So just climb down this gully and follow my... <laughs> When you get to the ledge and look around, you'll find the shell where I peed on the ground. Nice. <laughs> he just climbed straight down a cliff for this junk. At this beach, you'll find Ooh. many... At this beach, mm -hmm. you'll find many men laying bare. I was tempted to join them, but I didn't dare. <laughs> The forbidden temptation, he couldn't do it. <laughs> so I placed the shell right Except under the Except the reality. Shell, but all I could think about was that man's smile. Hey. Last Where one, last one. <laughs> the timing was so good. Where the planes land, you'll find this beach. <laughs> and I've placed the shell just out of reach. Oh. If you come first and want to flex, make sure you leave something for the person that's next. Like what? That was beautiful. Reminds me of high school. There it is. All right. Well, hopefully he didn't kill anyone in the process, but you know what would be really cool is if he put poison tipped on top of those hermit crab shells. So if any fish tried to assault them, they would die like a scorpion sting. The film flashlight, yeah. Yeah, it looked pretty good. It's pretty good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was a really good video. That was a banger video. Banger video, boys.